Welcome. In this short video I will introduce you to the new Crop and Border Mark feature now available in the PDF Toolbox module. You will find this especially useful in circumstances where artwork with bleed has both colour and black and white pages. Typically design applications will add crop marks in full colour so black and white pages may also appear as full colour to your printer. If you add crop marks using the PDF Toolbox these crop marks are automatically added to the PDF's trim box and are added in black only, so black pages will remain black. For this tutorial, we begin by opening a blank A4 document. Switch to the Marks tab, leave the default Add Crop Marks radio button selected. Also, leave the default Lint and Offset unchanged, simply click the Add Marks button. The PDF automatically opens in your default PDF application. As you can see, marks have been added. And we can easily add border marks to the same PDF if required. First, we switch to the PDF tab and remove the blank PDF. We then open the PDF we have just created with the standard crop marks. Switch to the Marks tab. Tick the Add Border Marks radio button and click the Add Marks button as before. Again, the file opens in our default PDF application and as you can see it contains both standard crop marks and border marks. For the final part of this video we will add crop marks to an original with bleed but without standard marks. And as before we will use the default settings. Simply click the add marks button. After choosing a destination and naming our file it opens as before in our default PDF application and as you can see standard marks have been added. So in this video I have explained the process of adding standard marks and border marks in Pixis Imposed's PDF Toolbox module. For more information I invite you to check out a set of related short videos on explorepixis.com. Thank you.